Is this a big number or a small number? Does it make sense? Why did we get such a small answer? Yeah. Why does it make sense for us to get such a small answer for this problem? stuff are we actually measuring here? We're only measuring six atoms. Well, six atoms is almost nothing, right? Yeah. Uh, six atoms is, is nothing. Atoms are tiny, teensy, tiny particles. Yeah, we have six of them. It's still teensy, tiny, so it makes sense that the answer comes out very small. You're right that if we used atomic mass units, that's a very small unit, so then the answer would come out bigger. But when we use a norm, so grams are usually used for ordinary sized objects. If you try to use grams for subatomic objects, you get ridiculously small answers. Okay. All right, so um, the periodic table tells you how to go back and forth between grams and moles. The numbers in the periodic table tell you how to go back and forth between grams and moles. Um, if you want to figure out, go between, if you want to figure out something about the individuals, then you need another conversion ratio that goes between moles and individuals. And here's that conversion ratio. And this works for any type of particle. One mole of anything is 6 times 10 to the 23rd of those individual particles. So this is another important thing. Where would you find that in the book? Let's take a look at the back cover of that textbook again. So they don't have that conversion ratio here. Um, they have it here. Remember that this number is called Avogadro's number. So here they have Avogadro's number, 6 times 10 to the 23rd. Um, the, the way they wrote that is kind of weird. They wrote it as 6 times 10 to the 23rd moles negative 1. Do you know what this exponent negative 1 means? Do you know what it means if something has a negative 1 exponent? Yeah, it means 1 over something. Yeah, that's right. So this would be 6 times 10 to the 23rd. So this would be a better way to write that. And what they really mean is 6 times 10 to the 23rd individuals between 1 mole. So this really does have the same information that we put over here. Uh, so, uh, in your, uh, so any textbook would have Avogadro's number. But we need to know that Avogadro's number really tells you the number of individuals in a mole. Okay. And this was a good example of, again, how we have to be strategic here. We might need more than one conversion. So we have to watch out for all of those. But you're not done with the conversion ratio until you put numbers on the top and the bottom. 